Hi, I'm Mike. This is Cheryl. In September this year, we took early retirement and decided as the first of our many adventures, we would walk the 500-mile route of the Camino Francis from Saint-Jean-de-Piedport over the Pyrenees, across the barren Spanish Meseta, and finally over the mountains to the cathedral city of Santiago de Compostela. In this episode, we set off from Saint-Jean-Piedport before first light. Cheryl's surprised to find that she's still alive when we arrive at Orison, despite saying she'd be dead by then, and we walk over the Pyrenees, stay at the monastery at Roncesvalles, and get up the next morning and go to the beautiful town of Zubiri for the night. 7.20 in the morning, Ches. 7.20 in the morning. Here we, we go. just left the um, Alberge after a um, ceremony <laughs> that we got to hug a lot of people. It was quite enjoyable. <laughs> and uh, we're off. We're off. Just breaking daylight. Mist on the mountains. Slight bit of rain in the air. With just a day sack. Let's go. Two miles in. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's actually stopping rain a bit now, it's, it's clearing up. Look at the state of her, she doesn't care, she's sweating, she's let herself go, she doesn't care no more. She's just told me she's been listening to a cod past. A cod past? <laughs> a cod past, not a podcast. I think podcast. she's gone, she's gone. <laughs> okay, well it looks like the rain is clearing. Beautiful view down the valley, isn't it? That's all the pilgrims on the way up looks like it's gonna stop yeah. that's the first big climb out of uh, San John done we've overtook a lot of people I'm telling you <laughs> and here is the little pilgrim <laughs> just when you think you're gonna die at any moment <laughs> not really because it hasn't been that hard but here you go here's the refuge at Orison this is why lots of people some people book in here and they get here, and let me have a look what time it is now. It's only 20 past nine, we've only been going just short of two hours. And uh, we're here, five miles, RSM. Awesome. Now, if you'd booked in here, that would be a problem. Because what are you can do for the rest of the day, because there's nothing else here. So some people, I reckon, actually walk on past this, um, who've booked in and just go carry on. We're not going to, we're going to have cafe con leche here and just dry off for 10 minutes. So. But uh, yeah, here's the refuge. Not as bad as we thought it was going to be so far. We've been to the refuge at Orison. Had a cafe con leche, coffee americano. The mountain goat here has had a sumo laranja as well. So we're all fueled up and good to go. Another mile or so to get to the, like crest these hills off. And then basically we'll be walking across the top, undulating over the um, short grass. Okay and then uh, in the Pyrenees and then back down the other side to Moncashvallis and we've just gone over the five and a quarter miles mark so see how we're already pretty much a third of the way there and it's only five to ten nice Okay, well the sun's well and truly come out now and you can see it's the clouds and all the mountains there, look. But it's all burning off. It's absolutely glorious. And now we've gone up the steep bits. We're getting towards just short of seven and three quarter miles. So um, getting towards the halfway point. And this is the point where you've walked, done all the uphill bits and uh, pretty much and we're just doing the equivalent of walking across Dartmoor or the Long Mins or somewhere like that on undulating tracks through the you know closely cut grass by the sheep and all that and it's very very pleasant and I think I've got a dry patch on my shirt somewhere now as well so everything's starting to dry out we are going to put our stuff in for the service wash this evening because Chesney's got two lots of stuff I got one lot of stuff and we're just joking saying that my stuff's going to walk itself there <laughs> once it's got out of the shower but it might dry crusty yet so
this is the queue to uh, queue to check in so everybody comes here gets checked in at the end and then the guy once you checked in shows you to them that's where all the boots live and your chest up there i put them most nice and nobody can actually nick them <laughs> here's the laundry room i just got my laundry off seven euros and it'll be done in an hour and a half nice This is what a normal room looks like, yeah? And <laughs> this is what Chevel's Chinese laundry looks like. <laughs> Morning packing. Morning, little Perry Greener. Morning. <laughs> Is that your nosh? Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, well it's uh, just gone 7.30 and we're walking past the famous San Diego de Compostela sign. Just had a breakfast, stayed in the monastery last night, which is all right actually. It's not too bad at all. We'll have our photo taken here. There's the monastery behind us. This is the little town of Burgett, which uh, there's the hostel at Burgett for people who don't make it to Wonkers Fires. And uh, yeah, the town looks like it's still fast asleep but it is only 10 past eight so a beautiful little town okay little peregrino yes <laughs> took your jump off now i have to take my jump off due to self <laughs> self-made heat self -made menopause heat. made heat <laughs> it's good all good it's all good there's quite a few pilgrims out already look at that Walking down the street, it'll all spread out as the day goes on. Then. Yeah, for the hard of understanding, <laughs> is the road. <laughs> okay, well. The early morning mist has lifted now and uh, i just show you around it is absolutely sun's out sun's out guns out and all that sun's out backpack out you can see all the mountains in the distance there and uh, we're actually going down that valley there in front of you into zubiri and to be honest you know it's been fairly easy going so far quite nice um we just had a coffee just coming up to the five mile point now so we've only got 12 to do today so we're going to go and um, <coughs> get into our albuche after lunch and then probably not going to take the pilgrim's meal tonight we're probably going to go and um, get like a salad or something and make it in the um, in the uh, albuche and just relax a bit and then go and have a walk around through Bibby this afternoon and that so, so nice as well not even doesn't even feel like it's hard going no pain in the legs from yesterday as well which is much nicer Okay, well that's where we came from over there. This is the, uh, came from over there. It's a beautiful river. Came down there. 
and that in front of us is our Albergé for tonight and we are in that top room there overlooking the river how nice is that and now I am just going to go and have myself a dip in the river because my bloody legs are killing join us next time when we realize we're the last people to wake up in zubiri and we head off to the city of pamplona where we arrive in the lashing down rain mm -hmm.